Now let's talk about the data frames, joins, and aggregation part of this exam. We're given two tables, or data frames, TI and FAIR, each of which has slightly different information, and we're asked to use them and write some pandas code that tells us um, some information. So in one, we want the total number of survivors. Well, we see in the TI table, survived is equal to one, um, for people who did survive and zero for people who did not. So if we just sum the entire survived column, we should get the total number of people who survived. So what we can do is do TI at the column survived and take the sum of that. Relatively straightforward. In two, we want the proportion of females who survived. Okay, so it's very similar to what we did in the first one. Um, but we need to filter out sex to be female, and instead of summing, we'll take the mean, okay? Because summing will tell us the number of survivors, the mean will tell us the proportion or the, the fraction between um, 0 and 1, okay? So we'll do a lock where ti at sex is equal to female. Oops. And we want the survived column. and take the mean of that. Relatively straightforward as well. Okay, now we're moving on to a question where we might need to use a group. We want a data frame containing the proportion of survivors for each sex. And so the indices should be the sexes, so female and male. So that probably tells us we want a group by sex. Um, and we want the mean of whether or not they survived or not. Okay, so first we wanna filter out the columns we care about, which are only survived in sex. So we can do that. TI at, remember this needs to be a nested array because we're indexing in multiple elements, survived, comma, sex. And now we want to group by sex because that's what our indices are. So dot group by sex and take the mean of that because we want the mean proportion um, of males and females surviving and not, okay? Now in four, we want a data frame containing the, po the proportion, sorry, of survivors for each sex and class. So if you look back to um, the TI table, we have different classes, first, third, and presumably there's a second one as well, okay? So what we will probably do is pivot this table um, so that our columns are class, right? Because in the provided question, the columns were first, second, and third. The rows or the indices were sex, and the values were survived, right? So there's, there's several pieces going on here. So we'll use the pivot table function, so pd.pivot underscore table. Our first parameter is the table itself, so that's TI. Our second parameter, values, will be what makes up the individual entries in the table, which in this case is survived, because we will be taking the mean of all of these. Then we need to supply what the index is, i.e. what the rows will be. We only have two rows, and they represent the sexes, male and female. and Lastly, we want columns, okay? So what first, second, and third are? Well, those are the class. Cool, and I believe the default aggregation function is the mean, so we don't need to specify that. So that wraps up in part four. And now in part five, um, we're asked to create a data frame containing the proportion of survivors for each sex after filtering out those that bought their ticket alone. Okay, so the table should be similar to the one that we had in three, but with different numbers. Okay, so here we're, we're sort of told that our table should be called merge, so we know we're probably going to have to merge two tables. The only two tables we have are TI and FAIR. What are we going to merge them on? Well, probably the ID, because passengers are uniquely identified by ID, right? So we can merge these on the ID column, and then look only where um, the alone column is equal to true. 
And then we can do the exact same thing we did in part three, where we took only the survived and sex columns and then grouped by sex and took the mean. So let's start by creating merged, which is pd.merge. Our first table, ti, our second table, fair, and on their ID. Okay, now from the merge table, first we wanna filter out only the rows where alone was equal to true, right? We only care about when they bought their ticket alone. Okay, so we take merged at alone is double equal to true. That part's not really necessary because merged at alone itself will be either true or false. Okay, and now here we filter out only um, the column survived and sex. So we can do a dot lock, colon, comma, the array survived, comma, sex. I think we need another square bracket. And then we do exactly what we did in number three, where we group by sex and take the mean. So group by sex dot mean. Cool. So that's exactly what we need for part five. First part involves merging the TI and fair columns and identifying what, um, what the key is to merge on, and then filtering out only the rows where alone is equal to true, and then it's basically the same thing as problem three. In question 18, we're asked some relatively factual information. One, is it true that all data frames must have an index? Yes, that's true. That's usually the leftmost column. Two, all columns must be of the same type. That's definitely not the case because we can definitely have a column with one, one with strings and another with integers or floats or whatever, so that's not true. You can always index a record by its row number. Yes, that's true, even when the index is something other than numbers, like if we merge, um, so for example, in the previous question, we merged by sex, not only could we index by female or male, but we could also index by row zero or row one. Missing values in string columns are always encoded as not a number. That's not true either. Okay, so the only ones that are true here are options one and three. 